What's up, everybody? This is Hassan Shabazz coming at you with another video. Today's video is entitled The Effects of Berries. We're going to look at all of the wonderful good things that berries provide for our health. We're going to look at blueberries and strawberries and what they contain in them that helps our overall health, to help us to reach optimal health. So berries should be a part of your daily diet for breakfast or as a snack. We're going to look at blueberries and strawberries. And this um, information comes from Healthline, healthline.com. So um, we'll have a link. And I can talk about eight different berries. We only going to deal with two and we'll, we'll have a link to the article in the description. But um, as I said, blueberries and strawberries focus for today. And blueberries and strawberries are nature's fast food. We talk a lot on this channel about nature's fast food and what is really fast food and, and that you should avoid man's fast food, McDonald's, Church of Chickens, um, Popeye's, avoid those places and eat real fast food, which is fruits, vegetables, etc. Blueberries, as I see the gentleman has a handful of them, they can be eaten right out of the pack wash them off, rinse them off or whatever, eat a handful of them. Strawberries the same way, just like bananas, apples, etc. So you want to eat the best fast food is nature's fast food. Now let's look at bears and jump. Bears are small, soft, round fruit of various colors, mainly blue, red, or purple. You have your blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. They are sweet or sour in taste and often used in preserved jams and desserts. Berries tend to have a good nutritional profile. They are typically high in fiber, and fiber is good for your digestive system. So you want to get a lot of fiber, and, that's a, and berries are a good source of fiber. Also, they are particularly high in vitamin C and antioxidant polyphenols. As a result, in incorporating barriers into your diet may help prevent and reduce symptoms of many chronic diseases. Blueberries. Blueberries are popular berries that serve as a great source of vitamin K. One cup, one full of eight grams of blueberries provides the following nutrients. 84 calories, 3.6 grams of fiber, 16% uh, of the daily value of vitamin C, 24% of the daily value of vitamin K, and 22% of the daily, vitamin, daily value of magnesium. Anthocyanins from blueberries may reduce oxidative stress, thus lowering the risk of heart disease in both healthy people and those at high risk for the disease. So if you even think that you may have heart disease, I would advise you to really eat blueberries. Eat them daily. You can eat blueberries, uh, like I said, for breakfast, along with your eggs, whatever you're going to eat. Have you some blueberries on the side. You can eat, you can put them in a smoothie. You can put them in cereal. It's all kind of ways you can eat your, or you can eat them just plain. It's all kind of ways to incorporate blueberries into your diet. In addition, blueberries may improve other aspects of heart health by lowering bad LDL cholesterol in the blood, reducing the risk of heart attack and enhancing the function of arteries. 
Blueberries may lower the risk of diabetes as well. Studies have shown that blueberries are bioactive blueberry. Blueberries are bioactive blueberry components can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes by up to 26%. So blueberries, uh, reiterate, you should really consider taking blueberries to your diet on a daily basis, whether it be to snacking uh, as a part of your breakfast, your lunch, or your dinner. Right. But um, a large observation a large observational study has shown that people who eat blueberries also have slower rates of cognitive decline, meaning their brain remains healthy as they age. However, more research need to determine the exact role that blueberries play in brain health. So in summary, blueberries contain good amounts of fiber, vitamin C, and antioxidant anthocyanins. Eating blueberries may help reduce risk factors for heart disease and diabetes. So that alone should be enough for you to really go through the go to uh, your grocery store and buy some blueberries. Now let's move on. We'll look at the amazing properties of strawberries. So strawberries are one of the most commonly consumed berries in the world, and also one of the best source of vitamin C. One cup, one forty-four grams of whole strawberries provide twenty-five trusted provides 46 calories, three grams of fiber, and 97% of the daily value needed for of vitamin C. Also 24% of the daily value of magnesium, manganese. So strawberries, an extremely good source of vitamin C. Strawberries are good for heart health. In fact, a study of over 93,000 women found that those who ate more than three portions of strawberries and blueberries per week had over 30% lower risk of heart, heart attack. Other studies have shown that strawberries may reduce a number of risk factors for heart disease, including blood cholesterol, diglycerides, and oxidative stress. Strawberries can also re reduce inflammation by lowering inflammatory chemicals in the blood, such as IL-1, B, IL-6, and C reactive protein, or CRP. Moreover, strawberries may help control blood sugar levels, which is important for preventing diabetes. So both strawberries and blueberries help with your heart, help with your type 2 diabetes. In fact, a study of over 200,000 people found that eating strawberries could, have, could reduce type 2 diabetes risk by as much as 18%. Finally, another study showed that eating two ounces, 60 grams per day, by a froze of freeze-dried strawberries. Of, I'm sorry. Finally, another study showed that eating two ounces, 60 grams per day, of freeze-dried strawberry powder reduced oxidative stress and inflammatory chemicals in people at a high risk of developing esophageal cancer. So strawberries are not only good for your heart, good for helping you with your type 2 diabetes, if you have type 2 diabetes, but it's also very good in helping you prevent cancer or helping you to um, uh, not have those symptoms or those things that will lead you to, to get cancer. So we're not saying there's a cure for cancer, but it's, it's a good tool to have in your tool belt for optimal health. So strawberries, blueberries, and although we just talked about those two berries today, as you can see on this slide, blue uh, blackberries, very, very powerful. Raspberries are very powerful. All of the berry family, you should eat berries. 
bears are very healthy. So we want to leave you with that. And until next time, we ask you if, you, if you're first time at the, uh, here, ask you to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hitting the like button helps to um, help the channel grow, help YouTube to reckon, uh, uh, recognize the channel. It helps the uh, algorithm, the algorithm so the people can find the channel. And uh, if you know people who can get value from this video, actually, please share the video. So, till next time, peace. We're out.